A literacy lesson is in progress. Children take turns to read out from the blackboard. Ten-year-old Muigulu Matonange takes his role very seriously. For him, this is a second chance in life. He was attacked in 2013, his arm cut off, and he nearly bled to death. One of the men removed his hat and covered my face. I could not see. That is when he cut my arm and ran off. In Tanzania, albinos are targeted for their body parts. It's believed they can be used to make potions and charms for good fortune. Parts can sell for thousands of US dollars. Government set up centers like this one to protect albino children. I do not know how many thousand times I'm happy for him to live out there. Because if he had remained here, I would have lost him. But the councils they are referred to lack funding and adequate living conditions. They need to be free because they lack freedom. So to be kept in these conditions is not good, but we have no choice. We're struggling with the current conditions. More disturbingly, there have been allegations of sexual abuse at the centers. The government says it's looking into the matter. Susan Mugeli, CCTV.